Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here today. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's not really going to be me talking about the products that I use. But today I want to be a little inspiring and motivational. Um, my goal for 2023 is to step outside of my comfort zone and to use my voice. I have a powerful voice um, and I have a lot of knowledge and I usually sit in the background and I'm quiet, but I feel like this year needs to be the start of me branching outside and sharing the knowledge, the tools, the research, excuse me, the resources and the just the inspiration that I have to give. So today, I actually want to talk about three negative things that you should stop telling yourself in order to be successful number one the the most common excuse that I have heard over the last few years is I don't know where to start now although I understand you do not know where to start trust and believe I didn't know where to start and many other successful entrepreneurs or gold diggers did not know where to start but you know what we did we did our research we utilized Google we utilized YouTube we utilized social media and we educated ourselves we connected and we networked with people to educate ourselves to give us inspiration to kind of like show us which way to go I'll give one example so you know I've been doing makeup for a long time so that came very natural to me and the business side of it came very natural to me as well um but then I wanted to open a clothing boutique and that's when I was just like I have no idea what to do like I knew absolutely nothing so my biggest um free uh, teacher is actually youtube.com I've learned a lot from other people who have done this before and so I was like let me just go on YouTube and research and from there I learned how to make tags for my clothes I learned how to purchase clothes wholesale I learned how to get licensed um, certificates so many different things and my clothing and boutique has actually been in business for a little over a year now. Um, and I'm super excited to actually go back on YouTube and do some more research to learn how to really market that. But right now I am focusing more of my attention and my time on makeup still. So that's just something that I have as extra income, more like a side hustle. But I did learn how to start from YouTube. Another thing I'll say when you don't know where to start is really honestly and truly make sure you're connecting with the right people. As soon as I meet someone and they do something or they're working in a field that I'm interested in, I begin a whole conversation. I ask 110 questions. Um, I like to give off my wonderful personality that draws people in and it makes them want to continue talking to me. Um, and that has honestly helped me so much. I don't know if you guys knew, but I was a production assistant for Love and Hip Hop. And during that time, I connected with the makeup artist on set. And I really like, so how it started was um, I told her I wanted to book a class because there were a lot of things that I needed to work on when it came to my makeup, um, my timing, um, my brows, and more so my complexion. I had mastered brows and eyes, but I still needed help with complexion. And I, it used to take me two hours, two and a half hours to do a face. And now I'm down to 45 minutes to an hour off of this one class. So anyways, I reached out to her. I paid $600 for a one-on-one -on -one class. And you guys, honestly, it was like one of the best investments I had made. Um, I still have some more work to do as far as complexion. But off of one class, I was able to shave an hour, hour and a half off of my time for a face. Like immediately. Um, and so during that time of the class, I had really showed my eagerness to be a successful makeup artist. I showed my dedication to learning and um, um, understanding um, the different things that come with makeup such as like eye shapes um, complexions and undertones um, brow shapes etc and she saw that I had a lot of dedication and passion we always kept in touch 
and now I'm actually her like assistant um, and she calls me her student and she brings me on set with her and she really only works with celebrities and high-end clientele so it's important that you show your dedication and your eagerness when you are connecting and networking with people Number two, which is actually the most frustrating excuse for me that I hear, and it's everyone else is already doing it. And why it frustrates me before I get into why you need to take this out of your mind is on my block, I shop at Kroger, Aldi, and Walmart. They're all right next to each other. And in a single day, in about two hour time span, I have shopped at all three stores. So I don't like when people say, oh, everybody else is already doing it as if these bigger companies have not already you know been aware that it's already a company that's selling the same products as them mcdonald's burger king and wendy's be on the same block but do you think um the ceo or whoever is the franchise owner of the mcdonald's was like oh what's up wendy's right here i don't think i should um purchase this building no you know what they did they market better so I will say, instead of looking at things like, oh, somebody else is already doing it, or that's your competition, take that opportunity to collab, especially if you're just getting started, you're a small business, or you're starting up, you know, services or something like that. Network across, collaborate across, you know. Um, I wouldn't look at my neighbor as competition. I would look at my neighbor like, okay, so what can we do together? How can we collab? Or even, how can I learn from them? If you're able to see your neighbor bringing in business, revenue, um, more clients and customers, figure out what they're doing and do it better. That's why I say they are not worried about competition, the bigger businesses. They're marketing better. And just because one person is doing something that you're doing does not mean that you're not adequate, you're not worthy, and you won't be successful. Show why you're unique. Show why people should support you. Show why you're different. Show why you're better than your competition. So number three is actually going to be unique to your own personal situation, but I don't have enough money. And I am one person to 100% understand I don't have enough money to start my business. Um, so I really dived into my business in the year of 2019, I believe. And I was dirt poor. I was broke as all get out. y'all. It was ridiculous. I was barely able to pay my bills and yet I wanted to spun and start a business. And I was working at Marshalls at the time as a supervisor, only making $11, maybe $11.50 an hour, but only working 30 hours a week. Can you imagine that? And I knew that if I was going to be able to reach my goals and my dreams and my aspirations, that Marshalls was not going to cut it. Um, so I ended up quitting my job and I went into another job, another field actually. Um, this is when I became a corrections officer. And I was making about $60,000 a year doing that job. Um, my my pay, I was salary, so my pay would equate every two weeks to about sixteen to $2,400 every two weeks. So with that kind of money, I was able to save. I saved $10,000 in eight months, and then I quit that job. And I really um, became like a full-time entrepreneur for a few months um, and just focused my time on that. So that's why this is going to be um, unique to your own situation. Some people are born into wealth. Some people are born into money. Some people have more financial support. I had nobody at the time. Um, so I had to just do what I had to do for my own personal self to get to where I wanted to be. And that's why I don't accept excuses. Because if you look at me, if you know the type of female that I am, corrections is nothing <laughs> of a job that I would want to do. But I knew that this simple job that I was doing that wasn't paying me because they felt like I wasn't doing much work, that wasn't going to cut it and I had to go do something else also um I have been doing a lot of research on grants and loans so make sure you take opportunities um that are available to you that one's going to be a little more challenging than going to get like a full-time job or a good paying job but it is possible you just have to work at it and don't make any excuses Structure your time, structure your priorities, realize and and really figure out what it is that you want to do 
and then list out the steps that it takes to get it done. Um, a lot of people feel like it's not enough hours in a day, but it's 24 hours in a day, you guys. Like, so that never made sense to me. Anyone who knows me will tell you parents can utilize all 24 hours in a day. I might only get four, five, six hours of sleep, but I've used the rest of that time to really structure, build, and put myself in the next position that I want to be. So those are just three negative things that you should stop telling yourself in order to be successful. And there are so many more excuses out there, but I hope that this is a start to push you in the right direction mentally. Um, I will say, I seen a post yesterday that said entrepreneurship is more of a spiritual journey than anything else. And it really is. Um, So I encourage you to take advantage of that. Um, You will learn and grow so much as an individual individual when you're trying to pursue your dreams so much of you will change um inside and out because in order to be your best self you have to let go a lot of the negative things that you dealt with in the past a lot of the trauma um and a lot of people and you really have to reprogram your mind Take at least one hour and out of the day to do mindfulness. Um, I think it's really important to kind of like help guide you and root you for the day, um, keep you encouraged, keep you uplifted, and help reprogram your mindset. That's going to be very important in order for you to be successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's a little different, but it's something that I want to continue doing. So honestly, if you love this video, please give it a like like, um, comment, and share with somebody. Inspire somebody today. Um, Be a change and be a positive force in somebody's life. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Just finished watching the video.